play, but that demo, that helps out a decent amount. That could be dangerous. Jack oh! has own goal, first killer, gets the first goal of the series. That was not long after a nolly whiff on the ball, Chronic dunked on in the back corner, and Jack from Jane Jason, like defense is falling, and apparently Jack will be so happy to have seen that ball drop to him. Oh, first killer and Miss both had boost in that position. First killer trusting Miss to make the touch, but Miss up, it's loose for the time being. But first killer already on the way back, and now Chronic, he's got the second. Wouldn't have meant it. Won't care. Oh, I love that placement from Chronic. Look how first killer trying to force Chronic to hit the ball across the goal so that he can use all that momentum that he's flying in with to clear the ball. Putting first killer eventually paying off in the three stage. Probably the first time he's been thankful for all those years. <laughs> it's, yeah, it Obviously, first killer is not an enjoyable <laughs> experience, and here he is, and there he goes. Phase responds this time they don't need. A Gen G misplays the score. Immediate reaction from First Killer. Missed able to get the ball to drop down right in front of him. First Killer punches it through. That's what FaZe are doing on defense, you know, at the moment. It's only a one goal deficit. They're quite happy to just wait, bide their time, see if we're going to get any more mistakes from Gen G, who are the aggressor here with a very, very high line. Oh, wait a minute. Where's the FaZe defense after sitting so deep in their own? Just give you second looks each and every time. The first shot, more often than not, could be a fake out. And they've got someone that you don't see coming in just behind them. There is apparently Jack. He will be the only option. 4-1. And it just looks like such controlled aggression out of Gen G. Oxygen were able to put phase down by similar score lines earlier, but it was a high-flying, full-paced attack. Gen G just looking for small advantages here and there. They're playing with such a high defensive line, giving FaZe no space to work with. Oh, hold on a second though. First killer slotted a shot not long after a kickoff. It looks like it dropped down in the vicinity of Nolly. Yeah, he's thinking that Sipical might be bumping him, so he took a bit longer to get to the ball. That allowed first killer a free shot, and he made the most of it. Rocket Lake, one of the most important games out there when it comes to not hesitating. Sometimes, though, when Sipical's around, you don't have the option. Contact, it's dead, he's wiped out! Crossbar house, crossbar Early. again! Three, four, FaZe Clan just needs one more! Like you mentioned, Jack was the only player with a ton of boost in that position. He thought he had an opening to go for the ball. He went for it, got bumped clean out of the air. That left FaZe with a wonderful position. Gen G! All right. They have sent two, but they'll be back quickly. MG trying to get back into that same position they were constantly in in the last game. Just circling right, and well, that didn't need too much work. Nolly just lobs it towards the top corner. No one from FaZe could get there. Very rarely does placement over power actually work in this eSports. But when you place it like that, sometimes... Force it down, MG Wanting to wait for it. Here we go from Sipical, but doesn't get his second hit. Now the wipeout, there's no one left a much better time fighting for pressure, fighting for territory, controlling the midfield boost, just getting consecutive touches. It's again the infield. This time it's the one-two. Chronic barrels it in. Well, Genji had two failed infield passes earlier. They go one step further this time. How on earth did Chronic have the wearable to add an extra step to this? He has the positioning where if he wants to go across the keeper, he certainly could have done. And knocked that under Chronic. Chronic read it the entire way. Well, here's Chronic now. Apparently, Jack up in support. Does he need him? Here he <laughs> comes! And no! Chronic's all good by himself! Every team in North America made to wonder this split. Why didn't we pick up Chronic? Why did it take two Europeans moving across the ponds for this guy to get a shot on a top team? The only thought was maybe he's not a land boy, and now you don't even have that to, to cope with. Chronic, an absolute monster. Saves the ball at one end, scores it at the other. Oh, it's an own goal at the other end, not long after. Will we have to keep this one going? Face time just prodding away here. Keep an eye on the boost totals when we get to these sort of positions. 
is going to launch first. Double commit. Typical will buy the time. A couple of demos as well. That means Mist has got to recover. He's not oh. got there. That means it's Nolly's to score. Mist had a very, very tough read there, but earlier on in the quarterfinal, those were the kind of plays that he was dealing with. Those are the kind of plays that he was controlling in defense. He was clutching up against Oxygen, against the number one offense of the entire tournament. He couldn't do it there. Genji ahead once again. And Nolly oh! Panic a little bit. They're so close to the finish line. Phase in their half, though. Genji in uncomfortable territory. But Genji, every time they're in their inside of the field, keeps shepherding the ball back into that corner. Oh, oh. first for Miz! You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? Tronic called it, Nolly trusted him. FaZe beat them to the ball. Aggression from FaZe. And they have got plenty of time, 42 seconds. It's a kick off to the outside, Hapjax in a roll with it. He's got a massive win for Gen G there. Look at the time that's gone off the clock already. That's 10 seconds away. Is it gonna be a game away? Chronic decides to back down, realizes they didn't have to full send. Apparently Jack, another huge win for him. Oh! Oh! G will confirm.